basically, I would say, in theory, I think the idea of reviving the Olympics and everything is a really beautiful idea. The idea of all nations coming together and blah, 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 you know, to compete. Amateur against athleticism, absolutely, yeah. To, to compete against one another, and it's a form of kind of a diplomacy kind of thing, you know, yeah. like keep on good terms with everyone, whatever. That's cool. Uh, what it's become is seems nowadays more like a globalist spectacle. Yes. And how yeah. am, and how am I supposed to cheer for an athlete representing the United States when we purchased him from fucking Kenya? Right. Right. Well, exactly. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Problem. it's, 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 it's you, uh, all like these running are, has all become these Olympic our teams. versus their. Yeah. 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 All these Olympic teams are all. They don't. Well, repre- a you know, lot of them are still hometown kids. They're, they're just people. They're you know people that nation purchased. That's all it is. No, I don't. I don't know if so that's completely true. Depends on it. Depends on the event. A lot of them are hometown kids, like the it gymnastics. The event, but I mean, generally speaking, swimming. Where, I mean, where's the national pride? It's not okay. there. Anymore. Yeah. No, that's yeah, true. I think in the um, U.S. this is in the U.S. this is particularly acute, and it's probably also true for Western Europe. I think that like Russia and some. You know, uh, China and Japan, like some other countries, it's still their national ethnic group that is represented. But you are right that if the sort of globalist vision comes true and everybody becomes, you know, this sort of off white, um, you know, mystery meat and, and in this big fat melting pot or whatever, there's no meaningful competition going on because what does it mean for uh, you know, a bunch of off whites in the U.S. to compete, but you know what I mean. Like there's, like when the you take the ethnic, ethnic Olympics, oh, yeah. there were a little, literally, like, be no point, point to it. Of countries, yeah. like what is the point of yeah. nations? What is the point? Right. It actually is sort of like once you remove the ethnic component, once every all these ethnicities, and like this is a deliberate thing. I mean, you get people saying like we have to, you know, get so to get past racism, we, we have to get like when they realize that it's sort of. Inevitable that keep, there will be yeah. effectively. Uh, yeah, well, a perfect, a perfect example. A perfect example of that is <laughs> what uh, is certain individuals trying to uh, get Michael Phelps to. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. 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 Pass, yeah. Well, well, I want to talk not, about you know, that. To pass the torch to some that. fucking yeah. To pass the torch to some nobody burka wearing wow. piece of shit that's already already eliminated like of nobody. Yep. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And, and 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 she was on. Okay, before we talk about that, I just want to finish the idea that like, without ethnicity, n- nationalism is meaningless. And we see this in the Olympics when you just see a hodgepodge of different people supposedly representing the United States playing all. It would, the United States doesn't mean anything. I, I don't care. It's sort of like professional sports too. Like I don't give a fuck. It's just a bunch of criminally insane black people slamming into each other that get paid millions of dollars to do it. Like I just can't care. They don't represent my locality in any way. Just the same that the Olympic athletes, maybe Michael Phelps represents me, but certainly yeah. this, uh, whatever the fuck her unpronounceable name is with the hijab does not represent me in any yeah. meaningful sense. So like, yeah, somebody where's, needs to the, make where's the, the pride? Where's the, where's the competition really? It's just. Right, mystery meat versus mystery meat, and it doesn't somebody, matter. Uh, There's nothing to it. Somebody needs to make this pitch but to the course. International Olympic Committee because if you imagine, you know, imagine there's no countries. Imagine there's no Olympics. Like there, there will literally be no point, right. and all those people are going to be out of a sweet, sweet gig. So maybe somebody needs to go, yeah, I mean, you know, pull those guys' code on it. Maybe <laughs> they'll become nationalists. Right. I mean, it it they becomes meaningless. With. That. It's, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, I mean, the Olympics as as a coming together of nations and then like friendly competition means nothing when all nations are basically the same. Like, there's no there's no meaning. Yeah. So it's sort of be like, what then are borders other than you know a bunch of elites hoarding power over a certain area? You know, like it th- that's really all that they ever are and ever will be. Uh, you know, if you remove the ethnic component from from the nation, yeah. which is what the U.S. Just is desperately be, trying to do, and the U.S. is yeah. sort of what's going to happen. It's just an economic zone controlled by this group of bureaucrats, uh, yep. and it's not a nation. It's not a country. Um, All right, so you, the, you've been the, desperate the thing, to talk about this hijab woman, so uh, you know, go ahead, well, get the uh, get I mean, your steak knife we'll out and get ready to go. It. Yeah, Gould touched on it. The fact that they wanted felt like yeah, she is nobody. She, not a good athlete. Um, she lost already. She lost not yep. even close to the – she lost in the round of 16. And they're saying she made history because she made it to the round of 16. Why is that making history? It's not. 
Name me any other person ever that made it to the round of 16 in Olympic fencing. You can't because you don't know yeah. who the fuck they are. Because they're, yeah. they're, cause well, you know who she is because nobody. she's wearing the, the rag on her head. That's why. Cause she's That's wearing a hijab. Yeah. Right. And she made a big deal out of wearing the hijab. And by doing so, she made the cover of a bunch of magazines. She was featured on the website, the fucking guardian, always our friend over there, you know, our pals on Cuck oh, Island yes. telling us in America how we have to run ourselves. Um, the ad. You know, they're saying, uh, you know, it would be a really great way to unify America to put it really. So you think it would unify America to give <sighs> the Olympic torch for our Olympic team to uh, a hijab wearing yeah. uh, Durka Durka woman? That would be a good way to unify America. No, it would be a yeah. terrible fucking way to unify America. And uh, and they know this. This would this would drive a wedge, which is exactly what they want to do, because they say like and then they say like, you know, to counter Donald Trump. It would be a good idea. It's just like, okay, you're not talking about unity then. You're not talking about unity. You're talking about defeating somebody you hate and, and, and snubbing them and rubbing their face in it and using this woman with her hijab as a tool for that. You're not talking about unity. It's not unity. You want defeat for your enemies. Didn't we uh, like uh, culturally appropriate the hijab with the uh, fencing mask, though? Well, see, now, well, this, is something, that, this is something that actually... Like you're wearing it. Yeah. You don't need the hijab. <laughs> Why do you need? Yeah, to no, she doesn't. Stop, Actually, right? she stop. said this in an interview. That's why she liked fencing because <laughs> the the uniform was very modest, <laughs> and she appreciated that. You know, it's a you covers your entire body, and then you have the covering over yeah. your head. So no, she doesn't wear the headscarf because the helmet covers her head. So I guess like during there's yeah, a complicated transition because anyway, <laughs> well, she at some point has to take the helmet off, and if God yeah, forbid her I, hair exposed, then I think. No, I think to keep terrible. that halal, what Why she'd does she have to do. Why she wear the helmet? Why do you uh, well, yeah, it's to protect her face. You need the face protection. Yeah, I guess she could get a burka. Yeah. Until I put on the helmet. Yeah, so like Nobody I think. Nobody knew who to, she was. I mean, it is true. Nobody yeah, knew who the fuck no. she was until she made an issue. Until she of her, put no, on the exactly. helmet. <laughs> Nobody cared who I was until I put on the hijab. <laughs> yeah. I take that start And we still don't care who the you fuck die. you are. Because you don't mean anything. As yeah. an individual, you don't mean anything. You lost. You're nothing. She'll be you, forgotten as soon as they find another bullshit, and you were going to be used as a yeah. tool by you know. Yeah. By the as soon as they find another wog who's lips. more useful, she's gone. Yeah. What's that? Oh, good. That's early. That's nice. All right. No, I'm, uh, really no, I'm glad that she was eliminated early. That's yeah. fucking great because now you don't have to hear about her. It's done. Yeah, well, exactly. She, I mean, she, she could always come back in four years. Well, and already won a gold medal. Again. What's that? What's that, Larry? She could always come back, you know, four, come back years later. four years and try to rent seat again. Uh, you know, I mean, that's yeah. the thing about these Olympic athletes. I mean, they're like mayflies. I mean, they can only come back so many times. I mean, maybe they get one more shot and that's it. When you think about the competition mm-hmm. that they have. And I mean, yeah. you know, they, it doesn't last I mean, that Phelps, long. Considering, considering all this, Phelps actually is a fucking phenomenon. And, you know, he's already won. I think he's already won gold. <laughs> She's knocked out. He won gold. And everyone thought that she should be the one to carry the torch. I think not. You know, and and, and like, I mean, people were openly saying this is what I'm saying. Like, it, it, they let the anti-whiteness come through because when, the only argument they have for why Michael Phelps shouldn't carry the torch is he's a white male. I mean, literally, that's the yep. argument. Yeah. Why fucking shouldn't Michael male. Phelps carry the torch? He's got the most Olympic medals of anybody. Well, he's a fucking white male. Do, but do we really want to show a, a white supremacist America to the world the same year we have Donald Trump as the Republican nominee? Yeah. It really I mean, should have been the hijabi sad, woman. The fucking twisted thing is this makes sense in these people's mind. I know. This makes sense. Like the person that wrote yeah. that Guardian article is like, you know what would be great is if we sent a rebuke to white people because of Donald Trump. And, you know, the best yeah. way to do it would be to give the torch to a hijab wearing Muslim woman rather than Michael Fell. Get the fuck out of here. Huh. You know, you know be better, should be actually, better, actually? You know what would be better, actually, is fucking Rahoa. <laughs> <laughs> so instead I'll of the you. Olympics? I'll tell you, yeah. you know what's going to yeah. be great is I would normally Should we have, like, advocate... televised events for it, too, like different blood sports and Oof. other things we can't say on the air? I, w- I would normally advocate I for... I uh, what I see. Oh, jeez. I would normally advocate for <laughs> American cities to start rejecting the Olympics because this it's a total scam, and, and it, most countries have woken up to this. Like, that's why the Winter Olympics, I yeah. think, is going to be in China because nobody else wanted it. However... 
Trump, I think, is going to win the election, and I would therefore like to see in, in, a, in a Summer Olympics in America or a Winter Olympics just so that Trump can preside over it and then trigger <laughs> the shit libs to the moon because they'll be like, oh, my God, it's just like Munich. <laughs> like it's really, just like the Munich Olympics. You have like a really patriotic opening. opening. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, because you, know, you know that if we had the Olympics tr- with Trump as president, he would be elbow deep in that. There's oh, this, dude, absolutely. This public if, we had, if we had the... If we had the Olympics while well, Trump was president, the comparisons to the Berlin Olympics or the German, was it Munich, Germany? Where, where were they? I think they were in Berlin. Yeah, Munich. Right? Yeah. No, Munich. It was Munich. Munich. The yeah. Well, the comparisons to when know. they were in Germany would be hot and heavy and they would start almost immediately. I mean, oh, I know, but that's was, the thing is, I mean, the it, Munich they, Olympics were the one where the Israeli athletes got kebobbed. Oh no, you're so, right. It was Berlin. Every Excuse Olympics me. In you're right. It's been chaotic yeah, Ber- for the, the chosen. Berlin There's was the, this, Hitler, uh, the oh, Hitler. Yeah. I mean, Hitler I'm pretty Olympics. sure like the the Hitler Olympics were Berlin, right? Like no, you're right. Are we talking right. about like the 1936? Yes. The Munich, yes. Bern- we're, Munich, yeah. yes. We're, we're Jesse for Owens Paris. so bravely disproved the idea of Aryan supremacy. <laughs> oh yeah, There's yeah. This weird thing on the on the public television station here talking about the University of Washington rowing team. And in the 1936 Olympics and how they beat Berlin, it's like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. But see, that's what I mean is that like, it doesn't make these probably, people when stroke they beat out. Them, like, they didn't have any of this on their mind. Right? They weren't not. thinking, you know, we're going to no. send a rebuke to course not. They're not. They're just, they're just winning because that's what they wanted to do. That's what they were there for. You know. Nobody well, in this yeah, country the gave a all, shit about Hitler. The German team won more medals than any other team that year. So the idea that they, like, anybody winning, it's like – it's so stupid. 